Do you guys want to know how to dupe infinite divine fighters in anime fighters simulator? So today I'm going to tell you guys how you can dupe infinite divine fighters so you can limit break them and get infinite divine passives in the game. So first off, you want to make your way to the sorcerer's world in anime fighters. Why do I keep saying anime fighters? So you want to make your way here and go ahead and do the defense mode at this well. Once you've done that, I only usually go up to about round two because it takes so long to complete. And I still get around 100Z from that. And it only costs 100Q to open this nice. and 4X. So you want to go ahead and AFK this star overnight. Get yourself some of the second best divine, which are the Judanos. And then you'll also get between like one and five Gojos. Just try at least get one Gojo. And then after that, make your way to mystic island right here and go on over to this clone machine as you can see i'm cloning one right now it takes two days to clone a divine fighter without it being shiny and without any passives so once you've gone ahead and cloned that three times of course you can limit break get divine passives on it all of that good stuff but before that if you don't want it to take two days which sounds like quite a long time go to the time chamber equip your artifact of time and equip a full light speed team of course it would be better or if they're limit broken with double light speed which i don't have yet if i did i'd have like a 60x time multiplier also if you can try get interstellar as it gives you a better time boost so yeah i did manage to get another demon and another interstellar last night so i've got two divine limit broken gojos with two divine passives on them so yeah go ahead and get a full light speed team if you want to know how to clone passives and clone fighters then go ahead and check my other videos out but yeah go ahead get a full light speed team go here get your interstellar passive team equipped and then go ahead and equip your rain avatar and equip your super time boost right here and you will have around a 31.2x time boost so with this time boost if we go ahead and check on the calculator real quick good old trusty calculator if we go ahead and do 48 hours which is two days divided by a 31x time boost it is only taking one and a half hours to go ahead ahead and clone nice. this guy right here so that means we can clone 13 divine fighters every day without max opening once and then when you've cloned 13 of them that means you can make four limit broken shiny divines if you have the divine fruits of course and then if you can make four of them every day it will only take you four days to make 16 shiny divine limit broken gojos then what you want to do is go ahead and equip your drops team as you can see I now have a full team of double miners and then go ahead and farm a ton of weld shards. Once you have a ton of weld shards, then you can start re-rolling divine passives. I'm going to go ahead and re-equip my light speed team for now though because I need to farm this time multiplier. So yeah, once you've got your time, um, not time team, your minor team, then go ahead and start on in the time trial for the weld shards and then get your divine passives and put them on all of your shiny limit broken gojos. And once you have that full team, that is probably the best team you can get in the game. That is how all these guys are on the leaderboards right here. As you can see, it's crazy. 1.370 DPS for the leaderboard right now it is insane so yeah that is all my tips on how you can go ahead and do infinite divine fighters just get your highest time boost possible of course get a common fighter get some world shards re-roll light speed once clone it 20 times or 16 times however many fighters you can equip and then go ahead it should take you around an hour equip them all get a super boost get the rain avatar and then you'll have a time boost like this and then you can clone as many divines as you would like which is of course like i just said 13 a day which is crazy within four days you will have a full team as you guys can see though i spent a ton of world shards last night and i got my second double divine passive gojo so i have two of these now i do need to get quite a few more but yeah this is really good right now two of them and then i've got another two here with monster on them and then i'm limit breaking another one currently as you guys can see so yeah hopefully not too long by the end of the week i will will have a full team of shiny divine gojos nice. just not all of them will have divine passives hopefully a few of them will i've still got around 100k world shards left so i'm gonna go ahead 
and try get some more divine passives with my last world shards. And then once I have my full, or once I've spent all my world shards, I'm gonna have to go ahead and repeat all the process again to get some more world shards to then find more divine passives. As we know, this weekend though is gonna be a bigger update. So hopefully, nice. fingers crossed this weekend, we might get some more divine passives or some new worlds or some new divine fighters. Any of it would be pretty cool, really. I also know that there is a new game coming out in one or two days, Anime Champions, I think it's called. And that is like the new Anime Fighters. So I'm going to be making a video on that game as soon as it releases. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Because yeah, that is going to be pretty cool when that game comes out. That'll be two videos for some amazing content for you guys. I'll probably go ahead and farm that game on an alt account and then carry on in Anime Fighters on my main account. So yeah, let me know any other videos you guys want to see. Make sure you subscribe and like the video as i've posted every day now since i started again so yeah make sure you guys stay tuned for daily videos and yeah like i said if there's any other tips you guys want in the game go ahead and comment them down below and i'll make sure to make a video on them if you guys want to know how you get these time boosts right here like these normal time boosts and these super time boosts all you have to do is farm the dungeon as you guys know it takes 12 hours to cool down though once you've completed the dungeon but if you want it to only take an hour go ahead and max out your passage artifact right here and it will only take one hour for the dungeon to cool down so you can farm the dungeon 24 times a day if you literally did not sleep and if you farmed it 24 times you would get an absolute ton of time boost so yeah that is how you can go ahead and get those time boosts by going ahead and farming the dungeon so yeah like i said i'm gonna go ahead farm some more div more divine passive go ahead clone some more divine fighters try get my full team of divine gojos before the weekend and then we might have some new divines to go ahead and check out i'm also going to get my full double light speed team as if there is a new divine i want to be able to limit break it as quick as possible and just know if there is a new update i will be the first person to make a video on it and get the new secret and divine so make sure you guys are ready for that but yeah that is pretty much it for today's video let me know anything else you guys want to see go ahead drop a like drop a sub everything all the good stuff like that and i'll see you guys tomorrow for another video